Hello, Martial Arts America, Advanced Brown and Apprentice class. This is your video class for the week of January 10th, 9th, 10th, 11th, something like that. All right, you know what day it is. All right, but here we go. We are going to get started. Ready, focus. Bow to the sensei, say respect. Feet apart, hands behind your back. What do you say? And student creed number one. Very good, left foot forward sparring guard, number two. And hold out that reverse punch, number three. All right, very good. Let's get in right into our warm up here, guys. Adjust the camera a little bit. We're gonna start with some push ups. You're gonna do your push up. And then you're gonna punch straight up. And push up, and on the other side, punch straight up. All right. I want you to do 16 push ups, guys. 16 push ups. So it'll be eight punches on each side. All right. 16 push ups. Go ahead on your own. Some of you may have already started. 16 push ups. Do a push up and then a punch straight up in the air. When you're done, stay down on the ground, then we're gonna do some sit-ups. All right, finish up your push-ups. If you haven't, guys, you can pause the video here if you need to. We're gonna get right to our sit-ups. So kind of the same thing. This time you're gonna do your sit-ups, and when you get up, one, two. One, two. All right. We're going to do same thing. We'll do 16 sit-ups. All right. 16 sit-ups. And, uh, you know, get up as high as you can. If you can't get all the way up, then just you can do your punches down there. All right. Hook your feet underneath the couch or chair or something to help you out. Or maybe you've got somebody nearby that can hold your feet for you to make the sit-ups easier. All right. Here we go. 16 sit-ups with punches. Ready? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, oh, 18. I said 16, didn't I? There we go. You got two bonus sit-ups, guys, just for you. Lucky you. All right, here we go. Now we're going to do squats with punches. So you're just going to squat and then punch. All right, let's do, we'll do 14 of these since I mean to do two extra sit-ups. <clears throat> here we go. Ready? Squat, punch, punch. Two. Bend the knees, back up straight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, good work, guys. Let's get into our empty hand kata now. We're gonna do a little Saison review for everybody. All right, this month we're just reviewing all the lower katas for the apprentice group. All right, and then we will do a little Saiyan Chin for the advanced brown belts. We're gonna start with Saison for everybody. All right, so here we go, guys. I will mirror and do it facing you. Ready? Yasme, Kitsuke, great. Hajime, Ka, Seisan, Side lock, punch, circle step, punch, circle step, punch. Double chops. Grab, pull.
Neil Cow number three. Stand, slide up, feet together, head block, nose bop, get that elbow down, guys, don't leave it up here. Fall back, turn the fist, stomp, step over, Uss! kick, down block, make sure you fix that back foot. I see you can't see mine, but good Saison stance here. Punch, arm break, back the other way. Head stand, step over. Long stance this time. Headlock. Nose box. Step up. Down lock. Punch. Arm break again. Cover. Hiss. Kick. Punch. Left hand over right and break. Hiss. All right. Good job, guys. Quick Saison Kata review. You can rewind that and Watch it over again as many times as you need to to get some tips. All right, just remember, you should always be practicing your lower katas, apprentice belts. All right, whenever you guys test from now on, you're testing on all the katas that you know, so you need to keep them all sharp at all times. All right, so let's do a little Saiyan chin now. And once again, everybody can jump in on this because apprentice students, you know this kata already. We're not going to do the whole thing. All right, we might do first half or so, but here we go. So I'm going to back way up, come forward a lot in this kata. You should too. Ready, Yasme? Kitsuke? Ray? Hajime? Kata? Sein chin? Pivot the foot, look, bring the feet in, slide out, core stance, and up. Look to the front. Close the fist back down. Open hand block, turn it over, grab, and pull, stabbing with the back hand. There we go. Pivot the foot, slide through, the same thing on the side. Hands open and up. Close them up, down. Block, grab, pull. One more time, pivot that foot so it's easier to slide through. One more on this side, up. Close them up, back down. Block, grab, pull. Good, here we go. Now I'll make a fist, slam my knuckles right down into my fist. Pull back into a cat stance. Wrap my hand around my fist here. This is called a reinforced punch. And now I'm going to step up and punch a good Saison stance. Make sure that punch is in the middle, guys, not out here. All right, even my apprentice belts, people tend to do this punch straight out from their shoulder. But just like all our punches, it should be in the middle. Shuffle up, elbow. Reinforced block, we're stepping to the corner. Saison stance, reinforced block here. Back leg steps in, horse stance down block. Same leg steps back, horse stance down block. See, I'm on an angle here. Now we're going to do the same thing to this corner. I get my reinforced block ready. Step in with a Saison stance. Back leg in, down block. Same leg comes back, down block. I'm on that angle again. All right. Now I'm going to do what's called my peace moves. I slide back. Nice and slow on this, horse stance. These are my peace moves. You just barely see the tips of my fingers over the top of my head here. And now we're just gonna cross the arms and switch sides, do the same thing over here, nice and slow. Peace moves, all right, good. And that's enough for today, all right? If you know all of saying Chin, be my guest, go through the whole thing, all right? But for those of you that are new to it, that's all we'll worry about for today. And again, you can rewind the video and watch that and practice it as many times as you want. But right now, we are going to get into our kicks, guys. All right? So we are working crescent kicks this month in your class. All right? Crescent kicks. I think most of you know your crescent kicks already. All right? So we're going to start with our back leg. Outside in crescent kicks. Outside in. Make sure you're getting that crescent 
or a rainbow shape and make sure those toes are towards the ceiling, guys. All right, here we go. Start with your right leg, guard up. Ready, one, and set it back down. Two, try and get a good snap right at the top of your crescent. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good, switch feet. Going this way now, same thing, other side. Ready, itch. Knee. Sun. Sheep. Go. Are your toes pointed up? Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Ku. And Ju. Oh, I did 10 on that side, didn't I? Sorry about that. All right, good. So those are our outside in crescent kicks. All right. Good thing about crescent kicks, guys, is if you got your hand pad, you can almost practice these with yourself. All right, you can just hold the hand pad out, and practice those outside in crescent kicks right on your own hand pad. So now let's do the other kind. Now we're gonna do inside out. So these you usually do with the front leg and it's always better to step up, all right? So I'm gonna step up and front leg inside out, all right? So here we go, everybody right leg forward, guard up, toes up again, step up, ready, one. And step back, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. All right, I remember to stop at eight that time. Switch feet. Now we're going this way, guys. Step up, inside out this way. All right, ready, itch it. Knee, sun, sheep. Go, Roku, Siji, Hachi. All right, there we go. Those are your crescent kicks, guys, crescent kicks. All right, most of you, if not all of you, have done those before, all right? And again, if you've got partner, mom, dad, brother, sister, they can hold the hand pad for you so you can practice those crescent kicks, all right? And uh, maybe next week we'll get into some spinning kicks. But right now, I want everybody to go and get their sigh. All right, working on our sigh moves. And in fact, we are doing Kusan Kusai for all of you guys. Everybody in this class is doing Kusan Kusai. All right, so we're gonna do it together. I'm gonna mirror you guys so you can see what I'm doing. All right, remember, closed position, squeeze it tight. So the sigh is always up against your arm. We don't want it to come off. We don't want to be out here when we're doing a move or like this when we're doing a block or something. All right, always tight, tight, tight up against your arm. All right, here, hopefully everybody's got their sigh. So here we go, Kusan Kusai. Ready, Yasmin. Hips kick. Ray, we stay bent down, bring the side up like this. Say ka, kusan kusai, and step up into a guard. We'll come a little closer here. We're gonna go to the left, long stance, double block. Notice how my side are parallel to each other. They're both on the same angle. Cover, switch to the other side, parallel to each other. Now open up and hit. Close it up, head block, stomp the back foot and punch us. First strike of the kata, so we do a kiat. Again, open up and hit, close it up, head block, stomp, punch. One more time, open up and hit, close it up, head block, but now we're gonna look to the back, cat stance, kick, 
land in a long stance, and open up and hit straight behind you, all right? I'm opening up and hitting straight behind you. Now I'm gonna take this side and point it back this way. I'm gonna open this one and point it that way. So they're both gonna go by each other, all right? So I've got one pointed in every direction, and then I'm gonna turn around and guard, all right? Then I'm just gonna circle step guard, circle step guard, one goes under the other, circle step stab. Now I'm gonna leave this side out and I'm just gonna turn to the back and then stab with the other hand. And then I'm gonna step out long stance, stab, all right? And now here's our first Kusan Ku move, guys. This is tough. If you, you know Kusan Ku, then you know what to do. But if not, it's tricky. You're going to wind your side up, all right, and turn all the way around to the other side, all right? This one is perpendicular to the floor. This one is straight behind me, all right? You guys can break. Let me do it facing you guys so you can see, all right? I'm going to do it this way. So I'm stabbing in the back. I wind up my side. They come by here. I slide my feet into a crane stance. All right. And I end up like this. All right. That's our Kusan Kumu. If you guys haven't done that before, it might take some practice. All right. You can go ahead and practice without the side in your hand. All right. We do it empty hand like this in Kusan Kukata. Now this isn't good right here. This is my left arm that doesn't quite work anymore. It should be, so you guys couldn't even see it, all right? It should be all the way behind you, all right? Like that, but mine won't work that way anymore, all right? So it's this, and my legs, my feet go into a crane stance. My back knee just comes up into my front knee. I know that's hard to see with the black heat pants on. All right, and then when you get the hang of it, just do the same thing with the sai in your hand. All right, so that's as far as we'll go with the Kusan Kusai today, guys. All right, again, rewind the video, rewatch it. All right, there's other videos of Kusan Kusai as well on our YouTube channel and our website and the app and all over the place. So check those out too. All right, good. You can go put your side down. We are going to do one final exercise here for today and then we will finish up, all right? Let's do this here. We are going to do our tricep push-ups, guys. So down on the ground like this, all right? Fingers pointed towards your feet, butt off the ground. You're gonna bend your elbows as much as you can, and then come up, and you wanna try to make a bridge here too. Get your hips up as high as you can. Bend the elbows and hips up, all right? It's not just this, my arms and my elbows aren't bending, that's no good. Elbows have to bend. I'm working the triceps. And then really try and get your hips up as high as you can, it might be tough for some of you, all right? Good, let's do 15 of these guys, all right, ready? One, two, hold it for just a second at the top. Three, four, five, Really bend those elbows. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right. Good job, guys. Stand on up and let's bow out for today. Ready? Focus. Bow and say respect. What do you say in class? You guys are welcome. Repeat after me. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live by the principles of black belt. Honesty, courtesy, integrity, self control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What kind of school is this? This is a black belt school. All right, great job, guys. All right, so keep practicing. Crescent kicks, kusan kusai, review your lower katas, and I will see you guys next week. Have a good one.